So here we are in the hotel room, starting the university from here. <laughs> So dad left um, today early in this morning. So it's just me and you, Marshmallow. Don't be rude. I'm much fun. I'm a lot of fun. Right? So um, I'm planning on going to a swimming pool to swim. But the thing is that um, I have a U E EU COVID passport or vaccine passport, I don't know. And sometimes they don't like accept it here in Switzerland. So I'm kind of worried that they won't let me in the swimming pool. But we'll see. Mm, do I really wanna go? Move. Take this fifty five. There's a cat. Are you okay? I think he wants me to leave him alone. Um, I think I uh, catched a cold. I think uh, rowing um, barefoot wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Also, the weather is so bad today that I just feel so tired and gloomy. So we're going to be very fancy. Put a little bit of pesto. Et voila! I'm kind of thinking about changing the room. And I know I shouldn't, but... I'm going to show you guys a room tour and if you don't know about me I love changing my room and in high school I changed it a million times like my bed was in every corner we walk in we're going to go from the right so here are my suitcases and stuff um, clothes wine of course now the chairs are like nightstands because we don't have nightstands because we don't have anything in this house so i had to be creative so the chairs are the nightstands here's the bed put some posters up here we go these were in my room in Strasbourg, and then um, more posters 
had this um, laid down and then there are my books there and I put my clothes up there so I can see them and see what I have um, <clears throat> more stuff little table with also a poster and I think it's much more cozy and the reason I didn't put a poster there is because if I want then I can like put a movie up there and watch it and I also like the bed to be close to the window so that it's it's much lighter and you wake up to uh, sunlight and it's much better so yeah All I have been seeing on Instagram is this um, normal people. I was like, oh, I really don't want to watch it and I really do want to watch it. I know I'm going to cry all the time if I watch it. I don't want to watch a toxic relationship right now. Sally Rooney, I already read a book of hers, a Conversation with Friends, and it wasn't really my cup of tea. Hers were really brutal and I just it just didn't fit with my view of life and the things I like to read and when I saw that she is the one who wrote the story that the series is based on I was a bit um well I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it when I was going coming back from Genev I, I really wanted to read something on the train. I went into a store and I saw this book, The Normal People, and I was like, okay, fuck it, let's, let's buy it, because I'm actually interested in the book, um, but like, I can't really read a lot. Like, I read one chapter and I, I feel like I'm going to get depressed for the rest of my life, and I'm not sure if I'm ever going to read the series, or read the series, watch the series, um, because I'm just not in the right headspace for it right now. It's, the way it's written, it's very um, forward, but it has a lot of toxic vibes. So um, I decided that we could do some uh, banana bread. Um, so I went shopping. And as I said before, there aren't a lot of things in this house, so I bought this so I could use the form or what the hell you call this. Uh, you may ask why I'm not doing the brownie instead, it would be easier, um, because I want to make banana bread, that's it, and I'm a complicated person, so um, I'm just, I bought this for this. I had a terrible dream. I dreamed that I was naked and somebody rang the doorbell and I opened the door while I was naked and trying to wrap a towel around my body. And then this man came in and was like, okay, so we're going to have sex. And he was so like ugly and um, I was terrified. I was like, no, like leave the house right now. Why did you ring the doorbell? And he also had a beard. I really don't like beards. There's only one person I like with a beard. I know you shouldn't be cooking when you're sick, but like I'm the only person who's going to eat this, so. Well, this isn't easy. Smash the banana! Banana! Smash, 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 smash. I feel like a grown up. Yesterday I talked to my friend, Adele, and, she, and whenever I was like, I'm alone, and or whenever I said like a problem I have right now, she was like, well, we're grown ups now. Like I said, I need to like go to Genève alone and then I have to come back to Baden alone and then I will be alone and then there will be no one to like wait for me and then she was like, well, we're grown-ups now. And then we talked about cleaning and then she was like, well, we're grown-ups now. <laughs> it was very funny. 
These Americans are driving me crazy. What is one third cup? How big of a cup are we talking about? This butter is like terrible. I get why it was so cheap. Oh. Okay, one table. <gasps> I don't get why you have to put salt in everything. There we go. Okay. So I don't have sugar, so I'm going to put uh, cacao powder in it or chocolate powder. <laughs> no. Well, I never said I was the best at cooking. Look how fancy this is. I bought this like with one of my friend Letty like five years ago and my dad still has it. He doesn't cook. I already feel sorry for my kids. How much is half cup? So half a cup. Smooth like butter. That's all I know how to sell. <laughs> we like thick things and oily stuff. Like oily stuff. You like oily acids? Yes. <laughs> this won't look like a bread, okay? But it is. <laughs> or it should be. It will be fine. Look at my banana bread. I burned it a little bit, but that's okay. Looks like brownie, but it smells like uh, bananas. Mmm, it's very good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I need to pack my bag tomorrow for tomorrow, so. Let's go and let's do that. So today I got up, I got ready, um, I packed my stuff and then I went to the train station. I went into a bookstore because I knew I was going to finish this book, uh, The Normal People. And um, so I bought this, Trevor Noah. Uh, born a crime because um, he's amazing and I wanted to read this book uh, for a long time. Also bought this, it's very cute. I'm not a vegan, vegan vibes. I'm not a vegan but it's so cute so I bought this. I put in my book as a bookmark. Yes. Uh, I used uh, one of my medicine uh, as a as a book. bookmark. And then my menstruation came this morning and I had to, um, well, drink the medication or the painkiller, medication, but drink the painkiller. This book killed me like it was so sad I cried at one of the chapters and I usually don't cry reading a book but I cried it just really hits home sadly it's just like oh, it's just so sad to read like the feels it gives you oh my god but I like the ending, I like the ending, okay. So I like the ending, that's a big deal, because usually a lot of um, authors like ruin the ending, or I don't like the ending, but I did like the ending. It wasn't cliche or anything, but uh, it was so hard to read, because it was like, mm, you guys want to be together, but you were just like, idiots. <laughs> Here we are guys, we arrived to the hotel, um, so I have two beds, very rustic, nice, 
street. I don't know what kind of building this is. The bathroom. Okay. Swiss bathrooms are always so minimalist. But it will do. Do you think I can like push these beds together? I didn't bring a lot of clothes, like, this is it. <sighs> My stomach hurts so bad mm, that I don't want to go anywhere. And I just want it to stop hurting. Just make it stop. are gone I thought we could walk around a little bit um, there is a thrift shop or a vintage store I saw <coughs> I want to go in we could do that also buy breakfast for tomorrow and coffee for tomorrow because we're going to leave early Um, I went into the vintage store and I saw a few good things but I didn't buy anything. I walked around for a bit and then I went to buy um, dinner. Started, <coughs> oh my god, started fighting. <coughs> no, <coughs> so in the middle of the night, these two men started fighting in front of my door, and it was so scary. I um, texted my mom, but she was already asleep. I was so scared. I even cried a little bit. I was like, oh, this is terrible. Also, the door looks weird, so I don't trust it. So for the night, I put a chair in front of the door. Um, yeah. Um, I woke up really early. I'm gonna start eating because I'm really hungry. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh. So I woke up really early today and I went to the building I thought my class will be in and I sat there and there was no one there I was getting really nervous I was like this isn't the right place maybe I don't have the right schedule I was getting really upset and I went to the main building and I was like I don't know where to go and then this guy was like okay calm down don't worry um, this is your building you have to go mm. so i went there i was an hour late an hour late oh, i hate being late like it's it was terrible i felt terrible i hate being late i was like i'm not going in i was terrified to go in because i was late we're grown-ups now <laughs> and there was also this uh covid vaccination going on and they were like, Where are you com did you come for your vaccine? I was like, no, I'm here for our class. And they were like, well, I can tell you. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I got there. And then um, the classes were fine. I liked the teachers. They were nice. I wasn't on any of their lists. And tomorrow I don't know which teacher is going to teach me. So I need to write a letter. Like, um... Dude, I wasn't on the list, like where am I supposed to be? And I did, and then I uh, looked 
who were going to be in an international relationship. There were two other girls. So I knew one of them were sitting behind me because the teacher called on her and I saw her name. And so um, when we had our break, I was like, hey, I saw you were going to study international relationships too. And then we started talking. And after the classes, we went to grab a coffee and it was very nice and she was very nice. So guys, I made a friend today. I'm so happy. <laughs> Round of applause for the shy girl. I also bought a pullover. So cute! But I love bears, they are so adorable. And they have such fluffy ears. So I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. So today I woke up, I checked out of the hotel room, I left my bag there, I went to my classes uh, and then um, I went to the admission office because they were mixed up, they registered me into like not the preparation year but like the year year or like my faculty so I was like where am I supposed to go now am I supposed to attend those classes or the preparation year classes and they were like it's fine you have to attend the preparation year classes we will like sign you over and stuff like that and you need to get a new student card ID card and I was like this is a mess and then I had two more classes and then I went back to get my bag and then I went to the train station, I bought a ticket there was this girl who was like I need money for medicine for my stomach and it's like I have it and I was like okay here's a 20 so I really hope she got medicine and not drugs from it me think how expensive medicine really is because it is like really expensive anyways and then I came back and now I'm here in Baden and it's like it's eight <sighs> and I'm so tired So this is actually my cousins supporting the family, y'all. It reminds me of good times when I was happy. Got some air going in.